Ciao, sono Alessia di Cesvi, ci troviamo nella casa del sorriso di Arare in Zimbabwe. In questa casa accogliamo i bambini di strada che abbiamo precedentemente incontrato sulla strada, specialmente di notte attraverso le visite notturne che il nostro staff opera regolarmente. I bisogni da coprire sono tanti, offriamo loro acqua, cibo pulito e percorsi di formazione e di istruzione scolastica. Oppure cerchiamo per loro una famiglia affidataria che è disposta a curarli ed accoglierli nella loro famiglia. Nel frattempo cerchiamo per i ragazzi e i bambini un percorso scolastico, formativo e di istruzione più adatto, quindi dalla scuola primaria a seconda dell'età, oppure corsi di formazione professionale per l'avvio e l'inserimento nel mondo del lavoro. Quello che facciamo in questa casa è anche offrire dei corsi per i ragazzi che possano spingerli al reinserimento in società. So they come here in the morning, we receive them, they sleep in the streets because this place is not a residential, they don't sleep here. It's a day drop-in center. They come in the morning, we open the doors for them, they come through the gate, we write them down, we document them as they come, we sanitize them and then we give them a piece of soap to enhance personal hygiene and to encourage them to take a bath and wash their clothes. The bigger reason why children leave home and come to the streets is abuse and neglect. If you can give a roof eh, to the child, we'll pay the school fees, we'll send them to school, and this kind of arrangement has worked very well. The crux of the matter is the longer they remain on the streets, the harder it becomes to turn them around. That's why we have the outreach team that goes out in the streets to scout for these new children. My name is Prince Tawaguta. I'm a guy aged 26 actually. Life was a bit difficult up until the time that I chose to get married at an early age. I was 19. I impregnated a girl and she was not loved by my family members. So I had to stay with her alone. I had to struggle to make sure that I feed her, I give her something. But in July 2016, she died giving birth to my twin babies. When she died, I lost all hope and everything. I was lost, like I was devastated, and I started living in the streets. So we're surviving on food crumbs. Later on, a friend in the streets actually came to me and said, Oh, Prince, there is also smells. Come there, at least you can bath. You can feed, you can actually have something. No, I could not watch an elder do something that I'm supposed to be doing. So I started helping in cooking, cleaning the yard. At least I can get a job. And then I'll buy my own land to do the farming. That's my story. <laughs> That's it, That tells us, man. On the average here, we get not less than 10 children coming in. On the average. Some days, they come up to 40, coming in through the gate, sometimes, but not less than 30 every day when we are open, Monday to Friday. <laughs>